All right, let's make this simple so that you can understand and so you can teach others the simplicity of it all. Daniel chapter 9. Go to verse 23. Therefore understand the matter and consider the vision. Verse 24. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgression and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for inequity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy this has already happened this was fulfilled by the death of Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ. This has already happened. All right, and so let's confirm that. First of all, we have some really good clues to finish the transgression, to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for inequity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness. So that's what Jesus did on his death, resurrection, and ascension. Uh, he, he did all that. The death, burial, resurrection, and ascension was fulfilled, completed. Uh, so let's just confirm that. First of all, um, let's go, let's do it this way. And I'm going to try to, try to show you three, three verses if I can, if I can find them. All right, so here we go. Of course, end of sins. We just read that, right? So if we go, um, yeah, this will work right here. Okay. Well, this is not what I was going to show you. I was going to show you that one, but let's. This one's probably better. Hebrews 9, for then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, but now once in the end of the world has he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. So just as we read here, the end of sins. And he has put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And then of course Romans 6, uh, but now being made free from sin, and become and became and become servants to God ye have your fruit in unto holiness and the end everlasting life so we are free from sin all right Jesus has put an end of sins and um, let's see one more here let's go let's go here and whosoever abideth in him sinneth not. Okay, so when we are born of the Spirit of God, that spiritual side of us never sins. The flesh still is there, but you know, like the circumcision cuts off the flesh, the flesh will be completely removed upon the return of our Lord Jesus Christ. The good news is that we have everlasting life in us. We have the Spirit of God in us, and the Spirit of God never sins. So when this says it, uh, to put an end of sins and to make reconciliation for inequity this this was completed by the death burial and resurrection and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ now he's gonna return and he's gonna make all things new but right now we are a new creature all right we are saved sealed secure forever we will never die. We have everlasting life. So that's all I wanted to share. There's more, but I could share, but I want to make this real short. Thank you.